We're getting ready for the big traffic switch for the Central 70 project. Eastbound traffic will be able to use the new tunnel starting Monday. All this week, traffic expert Jason Luber is giving us a look inside of that project. And Jason, what happens if there's ever a car fire in one of those tunnels? Yeah, that's one of the situations that they're really scared of. Now, the Central 70 designers are prepared, though, for a fire in the tunnel. And this is what the tunnel looks like when it's dry. This is what the tunnel looks like when it's wet. This is their fire suppression system that they call their deluge system that can drop 3,500 gallons of water in just one minute. In other words, it's about one third of the average backyard pool. We've divided that into 10 zones. If indeed we had a fire and the fire was detected and decided we needed to drop water, we don't turn on the entire zone, all the zones at one time. It would be just the zone and the one zone upstream of where the fire is. So you start dropping all of that water in order to control that fire. We're not trying to put it out. We're trying to control it so the Denver fire can ultimately show up on site and put it out for us. There are also those nine jet fans that we talked about yesterday at the entrance of each tunnel, so they can be used to blow smoke in one direction so people can escape in the other direction. Now tomorrow, we'll talk about the lighting inside the tunnel. It actually changes based on the weather conditions outside the tunnel. That coming up tomorrow. Thanks, Jason.